During the time of the pharaohs, the city of Karnak was a shining example of civilization that all other nations could only hope to emulate. Today, Karnak lives on, surrounded by the spirits of the past. However, something has gone terribly wrong. Unknown forces have seized the city, and great turmoil is spreading into neighboring lands. World leaders from all parts of the globe have sent forces into the Karnak Valley, but none have returned. The great power of this new empire is quickly crushing the best forces the human world has to offer. The only known information about this crisis came from a Karnak villager found wandering through the desert miles from his home, dazed, dehydrated, and close to death. In his final moments among the living, the villager told horrifying stories of fierce alien creatures that invaded the city, devoured the women and children, and made slaves of the men. Many of the unfortunate victims were skinned alive or brutally dismembered. Others were subjected to unbearable tortures, injected with strange substances, and then mummified while still alive. According to the villager, even the mummified body of the great King Ramses was unearthed and taken away. You have been chosen from a group of the best operatives in the world to infiltrate Karnak and destroy the threatening forces. But as your helicopter nears the Karnak Valley, it is shot down. You barely escape with your life. With no possible contact to the outside world, you begin your adventure ready to accomplish your mission, praying to return alive. Hey, my fellow Belmont's desire, Rick the Belmont 12, and we're back for more Power Slave. Um, so, this is the, um... PC version of the console port of Power Slave. I've done the PC version of Power Slave, the build engine version. Um, I'll give you a link to the playlist in the description below if you want to go see that. This is the re-release of the console version that was released for the Saturn and the PlayStation. Um, also, those games came out first, then the build engine version came out later. Uh, I done like three parts of the console version but since um night dive studios my favorite develop um uh, game studios of all time announced that um hey we're gonna re-release this on steam i stopped the let's play so we can wait for this game to come out and it, here it is this is power slave so what's different um they added checkpoints which is good um they also added the Saturn and PlayStation exclusive enemies together. The enemies' death effects from the PC version, build engine version. It's in this version, which is good because I don't like how enemies just explode. Unless they use an explosive um, weapon, but that's about it. And we're going to be playing this again. I am going to delete the old run of the console version so we can replace with this. So, again, if you're gonna... Uh, I, I encourage all you fellow Belmonts to sit down and enjoy this um, Let's Play. I Sure, I would do. This is the Metroidvania through and through. And if you like the video, like the Let's Play, why not consider a like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell or join our Discord link in the description below. Uh, hit the bell so you won't miss out on any videos. And if you like the channel and you want to support the channel further, join, join the membership, either Squires, Knights, or Marshals. Um, link, join to hit the big join button. It's optional, but it will help out the channel immensely. Um, we're gonna put it on this slot. Um, we're gonna play it on normal. The Tower of Ramses. Here we are. Start with a little machete. Blue bar is your weapon gauge. Red bar is your health gauge. WSA did move. Press jump. Space to jump. Gonna get our first new weapon. A revolver. Got new enemies. The scarab. Which is fine. That's a new enemy, the blue scorpion. Blue scorpion is from the PlayStation version.
The latest thing this game got updated is the um, surround sound. That's about it. So we need to find Ramses. We need to return his slab and find out what's our offer. Uh, red red circles are health. Picking them for health. They're random. What enemies drop? The only thing annoying is about these weapon powers, um, you can't just pick them up. You have to equip a weapon to pick it up. It gets really annoying. I kind of wish it does the Mega Man thing, but if you pick it up, it'll recharge the lowest. That would have been better, but I digress. Nice little movement right here. I think we found Ramses. Yep. All right. What's our story? Welcome, mortal. I am King Ramses. When my body was made to rest here, my name was not forgotten, and my spirit was blessed in the realm of the dead. For centuries, I lived in splendid afterlife among the most powerful gods of the world. Now. My eternal sleep has been broken by a savage race of creatures known as the Kilmat. These beasts have stolen my mummified corpse and are draining the power from it to use as their own. If they succeed, chaos will spread across the earth like a terrible wave of fire, burning all living things in its path. The world as we know it will die a painful death. It is you, Great One, that must do justice for the sake of mankind and shun this evil. Seek out the six treasured artifacts that have once adorned my tomb, given to me by the most powerful gods of Egypt. They too have been stolen and scattered across the valley and are highly guarded. These artifacts hold great powers and will help you on your journey. To begin your search, travel to Karnak and cross the high bridge on the east side of the village. Here you will find a great sanctuary that holds the first of the six mighty artifacts. If you happen to lose your way on your travels, return to this tomb and I will give you guidance. Fear not the power of the Kilmat, instead embrace the powers of the Egyptian gods. They will help carry you to victory. Sure thing. Do I have a ride? I sure do. It's a camel. Yeah, let's go to Karnak. Alright, our central hub. Karnak is our very central hub. Like, we'll, we'll be here a lot of the time. Like, the, the majority were going to be here. Okay, I didn't even see him there. It was too dark. That's a new enemy! The Anubis. I like how the, the machete kills in one hit. Because I know on hard mode, they take two. Alright, we got some health. Scorpions is not bad at all. Okay, cool. Okay, we need to travel north. We will not get our first weapon and next weapon until like later down the line. And it's an old staple. We do have a map by pressing tab. So just in case you get lost, we know the way forward. You know, Night Dice Studios have been doing great to remaster old games like this. I want them to continue remastering some of the Greek classics. I'll support them. 
I want them to remaster Turok 3 and Rage War. That's my big, that's my big wish. Turok 3 and Turok Rage War. I want that to be a thing. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? I would love, I would love to. Uh, Sanctuary, yes. We need to be here anyways. Also, some of the maps have been changed. Got new enemies? Hawks. Hawks are not good. Hawks are never good. Our tried and true. Our tried and true workhorse, M60. We're gonna be using this weapon so much. Pretty much. This is our, like, go-to gun most of the time. Alright, grab that. We need the... we need the... symbol of time. Can't jump that high. It's a shame. Okay, that leads outside. We need to go this way. Yep, right here. I think. No. Holy sh Oh! We do. Symbol of time. Okay. Good, we got the key. Someone's playing Elden Ring. Ah, uh, don't worry. The Elden Ring let's play will continue after our month is over. Oh, yeah. Oops, I forgot to mention. The let's play of Elden Ring is coming soon. I'm trying to get everything recorded and done. And yeah, the Elden Ring Let's Play is in the back burner. Oh, map! Now the map is full. That's a full health. That's a checkpoint system, so if we die, we go here instead. Oh, we have the other symbol. Yep. Kind of wish there's an option to add like the PC reloading thing, have his own separate ammunition. That'd be cool if there's a mod for that. It's like the PC version of reloading, like different ammunition types and stuff. I can just think of possible endless mods of this, of this game. Ooh, don't jump on that. Yeah, the hitbox is really wonky and weird on this one. Checkpoint! Full weapon bar. That guy. Okay, that. Some more ammunition, that's what I like to see. Oh, cool. Scarabs that I don't see down there. Oh, that's a sh that's like a way back. Cool. Uh, planning on a Left 4 Dead video coming soon. Remember, it's the month of October. Grab that. Get rid of the Hawks. And we'll grab the Sandals. Sandals, it... it, it uh, yeah, I don't know how you pronounce it. Increases the jumping ability. So basically, we can jump higher than normal. 
And this will bring us back to the tomb. What's our next objective? You have found one of the six sacred artifacts, and your worth as a sturdy slave has been proven to the Council of the Gods. The mighty sandals of Ecomtet give you the strength to leap higher than mortal humans. Use this gift to scale the cliffs in the northwest corner of Karnak. Beyond the cliffs is a steep path that leads to a shrine in the mountains. The artifact hidden in this shrine is a gift from Sobek, god of amphibious creatures. Cool, we can breathe on the water if we can grab that one. Well, kinda. Kinda. It's kinda. Northwest? Oh, two more Ramses. No. Besides, that enemies respawn. So it's like a true Metroidvania, and that enemies do respawn. So now we can go somewhere else entirely. Oh, that's a new enemy! That's a... Uh, a bee. Lucky they're not as annoying as they were in the PC version. Trust me, I don't really like them in the PC version. I don't like them here. Also, we don't breathe on the war that long. Our guy doesn't breathe on the war that long. He's a super soldier. He doesn't breathe on the water. Good. Uh, Solbacks pass. Do you hear that beeping? There's a transmitter in this stage. We need to go find a transmitter. It's gotta be here somewhere. There's a lot of secrets in here. Really nice decorated place. Give him a light burst. Should be fine. Ah. Transmission is nearby. Grab that symbol of war. Probably need it for a key. Nothing down there. Let's get rid of that eagle. Yep, there you go. We found a mouse. We found a mouse. Just a mouse. Okay. Okay. That's a checkpoint. Well, at least the bugs explode, like, bullets-wise, they explode, they don't die like in the PC version, kind of wish they did. There's a symbol of war. If you grab that, that replenishes all your weapons, which is good. Where'd he go? There he is. So we got one transmission, there's a lot to go. Well, weapon power is not bad at all. There you go, checkpoint. Ow.
I feel like this is a trap. You can tell. Symbol of Earth. Earth door. There is our camel. Mountain Shrine. Solbeck's Mountain Shrine. Yeah, I don't... I don't hear anything. So we're going to get some water stuff. Is this... Do these spell they do? These were, these were getting in my way. We'll get a weapon next. Hey, there's the mask. It's the trial of Solbeck. Oh, another good music of mine. Or oh, another good music that I like. Not mine. Whoop. Okay, pressing shift gives us the inventory. Okay, gotta be careful not to gently graze my finger over it, because that can happen. Blow it up. There you go. Grabbing that map. There's the camel. I can't get past that without an artifact. Symbol of war. Grab the checkpoint. Okay, we need a symbol of war. What do we got? Yeah, that power. We need an artifact to go through that um uh, force field. It's not a map. They're random. Up, oh, elevator. This engine's actually pretty good. Look, it can re-release blood and do this. I still want them to do fucking Turok 3. And, um... Turok 3 and, um... Rage War. That'd be amazing. Imagine that. Me and Shay play Rage War. Can't do nothing with the lasers. Oh, it's timed. Checkpoint. Up. Grab that checkpoint. I'm really happy for checkpoints. Really am. They really help out a bit. So you don't have to, you know, blow them up. Grab me that earth. I thought it was like a thing you can jump into. No health? Nope. Of course there's no health. Give me that time. And we'll get Sobic's mask. Allows breathing underwater. Aqua lungs. We, we don't breathe on the water, definitely, of course not. We can just be on the water for a little longer. And we're done. What's our next objective? You have succeeded in collecting yet another cherished artifact. Your heroic skills have kept you from joining the Kingdom of the Dead. 
Travel south now, through Karnak, and across the Great Nile River. There you will find a strong weapon that will break through the stone of a weak wall. Beware though, for the path that leads beyond will take you to a place where a horrible beast dwells. A boss fight, you may say. I got a Chef Ramsay. I got it. I got gotcha. you. Okay, go south. I got a Chef Ramsay. Oh, I would have been mad. I'm almost gonna die too. Can I get health? No, the game the game is not gonna be that gullible. Please, sir. I just want some health. Oh, thank you. Okay, we need to go this way. Oh, that's a power up. That gives us, um... That gives us more health. Yeah, that would give us more health. It's like our, like, max HP is increased. That kind of upgrade. Aha! Running out of ammo. I mean, I could have just used the machete. Grab that, grab that weapon power. Ah! Maximum health increased. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Not bad. There's one of them there. Man, they really bring out the bugs today. Can't go down there yet. Door is sealed. You need a symbol of power. Really? Are I really missing one? What I got? Earth. Okay, we can go here. There's water here. <laughs> the only weapon you can use underwater is the machete. It's the machete and the um, grenade. We don't have grenades yet. We are going to introduce enemies underwater, which sucks. There they are. New enemies. Whoop. Set my hand on the shift key, which is bad. Ah, checkpoint. Much, much better. Grab another maximum health. This would definitely help me a lot. There you go. We got the symbol of power. So now we can go this way.
No, not this way. It's the other way. Shit, I forgot what door it was. No, no, I remember. Through the water. Through the water canal. One check queen can be activated at a time. Okay, jump. Well, I just want to make sure there's no enemies nearby except for you bastard. Okay, all my weapons are full. Look, I'm a little scared that these things are gonna shoot out something. Once we unlock all the um, available shortcuts, we won't be able to come here anymore again. Unless we got a power up to do so. Slashy, slashy, fishy, fishy. It's much better how this can um, actually hit faster than in the PC version. Oh, weird. Okay, our camel. The Amu Mines. And we're out of time. So when we come back, the Amu... the Amu Mines. And we get a transmitter here. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Later.